Hey guys, it's Nick from Fluid Amber. We're here with Phil from Fluid Amber. We have his truck here, and uh, it has an old ratty factory damper on it. And we're gonna put a fluid damper on. We're gonna show you guys how to do it. Phil, tell us a little about the truck. What year is it and everything? It's 2002 Dodge three quarter ton by nine diesel. It's got injectors, valve springs, nothing fancy. You got a tuner in it. Is that a built trans? Fairly built. Yeah. So we're going to install uh, our damper and our full power kit. Uh, this being a 02, it is just a 59. So this is part number 960301. And then the full power kit, uh, 300,008. So we're going to use both of these on this truck. Um, the full power kit, not needed for this horsepower necessarily, more of just a uh, security factor. Uh, it has the 5 8 hex head built into it. So there's an extended like ARP bolt and it does have the friction washer, which we'll open it up and we'll show you guys. Uh, but so he'll have the 5 eighths to roll the engine over doing valves or anything like that. Um, and if down the road he decides to, you said something about you were gonna maybe compound it or something like that. So he'll be prepared for down the road. Uh, better to do it now, be in there one time and uh, we'll go from there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get set up here, change it out, show you guys how to do it. And uh, we'll get going. So right here, fans out of the way. It's just kind of sitting out of the way. So now we're gonna go underneath and we are going to loosen the bolts. For the removal, we're gonna use the OTC barring tool, part number 7471A, to lock the flywheel so the engine isn't turning over as we're loosening the bolts. And the OEM bolts that hold the damper to the crank snout are a 15 millimeter. We're gonna use half inch brake bar to get them broke loose. All right guys, so we have the damper full power kit. We're just gonna go through it real quick. Phil's gonna explain them real fast. And then we're gonna get to getting this baby installed. Damper here, part number 960301. Open it up. Got a pack between some nice foam shipping protection. Here's our damper. We got our SFI logo here on the bottom. Part number, black zinc chromate finish. And then in this little envelope here, we have our SFI card. Any type of power sports require an SFI rated products. You're gonna to wanna to hold on to this. I'm just gonna put that in the glove box. Inside this envelope here, we have our installation instructions. Runs through part numbers for the different diesel applications, internal layers, internal layer balance, removal, blue damper installation. Uh, we have torque specs here. And on the top of the front side, tools and procedures required. And Full power kit, part number 300,008. All right, we got extended length ARP bolts and these washers. There's a chamfer on the inside edge that has to be facing the bolt head when it's installed. I'll go through and make sure they're all seated properly. And then on the plate itself, we have the 5 eighths head 
to assist in barring it over. And then on the back side, it is machined, non-concentric finish. Helps with biting into the face of the damper. And then friction washer, diamond impregnated. That goes between the damper and the crank snout. And on our installation instructions here, always, whenever using ARP bolts, always go off of ARP's torque rating. If you're using OEM stock bolts, use the OEM torque rating. So for this application, we're gonna be using 125 foot pounds. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is the factory damper. How many miles your truck got on it? 136,000. So 136,000 miles. Uh, this damper is well past its life expectancy. Um, the uh, You can see the rubber is bulging and flaking. Uh, and, and that happens when, you know, you, it, oils get on it. But the biggest thing is it's above stock power. So this damper is not meant to handle anything above factory. So as soon as you start changing parts on it, this damper is overworked. Uh, as you can see, I flip it around real quick. Uh, the rubber is protruding out of it. Uh, it's you know it's de definitely definitely seen better days. Uh, so that and the uh, the rubber lifting here on the edge. Try to get a good shot of that. So as you can see, this damper is nothing more than a paperweight anymore. Uh, so we uh, got the old one off. We're going to clean up and inspect the uh, flange and then we're going to get the uh, fluid damper installed and get it uh, torqued up. Whether you're on the street or at the track, Fluid Damper's got you covered. Visit fluiddamper.com to learn more. Just want to get that cranked, get it wiped clean, inspect it, make sure there's no damage. And then we'll go ahead and place the friction washer up inside. All right, so we have the damper is installed. Now we're going to go ahead and torque them up and it is 125 foot pounds because they are ARP bolts. Perfect. All right, so now we are, they are all torqued up and uh, we'll get the belt reinstalled and remove the uh, barring tool from the back and get the fan installed and uh, recheck it. All right, Phil, new damper, everything's installed, ready to go. Yeah. Fire it up, let's get your uh, impressions. Definitely noticeable difference. All right, Phil, so we put the damper on, we put the full power kit on. You drove this truck for a year as is, yep. knowing, so you know how that baby feels. Yep. You know your truck intimately. 
What is your first impressions with the with the fluid damper installed? Definitely quite a bit smoother. Yeah. I don't feel the vibration through the steering wheel, not as much as the pedals. I, I put it through reverse, neutral drive. You, you don't feel it as as pronounced. Right. So you, you definitely can tell. Yes. There's a big difference. And then and you haven't even taken this for a drive. We literally just started it up and let it rip. So we'll go for a ride and uh, we'll see how that does after that. And we'll report back and give it Phil's first impressions of it. So we'll finish this up, button it all up here. Uh, we just got to, we're done basically. We just got to clean up and then uh, we'll go for a ride and see how she does. See how she does. This 1985 Fluid Damper has been chosen by the top race teams and leading engine builders. Visit fluidamper.com to learn more.